in my case, I choose the second scenario, which is the console salesperson. They are going to the trade show and then they are looking for the new leads. That's why I call it sales leads. So about the console, uh, console is uh, uh, it's a small business, and then it have got two stores in Minneapolis, and then. The, uh, the console goal have got to improve the sales value, in, uh, in enhance customer and employee experience, and increase sales and opportunities. So at the same time, I have to ask myself how I'm going to approach these goals, and then how I'm going to interpret to the uh, tech side. To do that. I have to use the app, the uh, Microsoft Power Platform. Within this Power Platform, I take the Power Apps, the Dataverse, and the Power Automate in order to collect uh, my leads and then uh, to to store um, the list of customers. So before I start the uh, the process, I have to have some plan. This is my plan. First, I have to use the uh, Dynamics 365 to collect new leads. After that, uh, I have to create with a preferred method of contact with the customers. In the meantime, I can edit the customer's uh, uh, list, their names, or preferred method of uh, contact. And then that's uh, that list is going to be uploaded to the Power Automate to do the follow-up emails to send to the customers. And then that list is going to be stored on the data verse table, which is going to be uploaded to the Power Apps. By doing that, this is the way we are going to see the whole process. This is a collecting leads form. We can do the uh, even the uh, business card scan through the AI, and, and we are going to put their names, first names. As you can see, this red dots is mandatory. Their last name, uh, topics of they are interested on, and then over here the method of contact to the customers, and then. That's going to be transferred to the Power Automate. Through the Power Automate, we are going to process to send emails to the customers. As you can see, this is an Outlook email which I received from here. Thanks for visiting. So on the upside, what we have got is the list of the customer. When we press the specific customer, you are going to take it. It will take you the uh, another detail of the customers, their company, the uh, status of reason. Are they uh, are they new or are they already existing customers? And when is this lead is created on? And also the preferred method of contact. As I can say, I I told you before, it's supposed to be editable. So on the when you press this uh, pencil, it takes you to another display. In that display, you can edit whether the status of reason, whether it's new or existing, and then the topic, and also preferred method of contact. Now, when you go to the demonstration, so first thing is we have got a list on the uh, Dataverse. Whenever I click here, as I showed you before, it gives you uh, a quick creating list. So you can put the last name, for example, if I put my name. And preferred method, excellent, the famous. And then save. Oh. The topic, I need to put the topic. And then I'm going to create 
as soon as I create, it tells it tells me uh, because of my email is repetitive, repetitive. It asks me whether I have to join the rest of the test before or not. So I'm going to hit ignore himself. In the meantime, on the uh, Power Automate, it should be processed. So we are going to get. Uh, it, it might take the time, but we are going to get. Yeah, here it is. I get the email. And also when we go to Power Apps, I have to refresh. It's going to be here. This is a power up. I'm going to collect my customers. When I click here, it's going to be my details. And then if I want to edit, as I told you before, it is qualified, contacted, lost, or, or the preferred method. If it is email, phone, fax, we have to uh, initiate this and then save it on the power apps. That's all about uh, my presentation. Thank you so much.